Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Philip Cachera, the Interior Design Manager for ATS. Hey, you've been designing for General Motors for 17 years. Correct. How has design changed over the last 17 years? Oh, it's been, it's been remarkable. I mean, with interiors, the influx of technology and the infotainment, if you will, aspect of, of vehicles, tolerancing, fit and finish, our, our focus on quality. We zoom in much farther than we ever have. Um, down to percentages of millimeters to get the fit and finish and the craftsmanship and quality uh, that you'd expect in a, in a luxury vehicle. Has interior design become a lot more important than it was 17 years ago? Oh, I, I think it's really become a priority. The exterior always is, is sort of your first love. It's what you see on the outside. But you're going to sit here every day. And if this is not right, it doesn't ma at that point it does not matter. So you really have got to seal the deal with the interior. What are some of the interior safety requirements that you're having to design in? More, more or less every surface around you is, is, has a safety application to it. I mean, it starts from, I mean, knee bolster placement, of course your airbags, the multiple airbags everywhere. Even, even the headliner becomes a safety device. It's almost a helmet. Uh, wrapped onto the roof of the car. Oh, so right in here you can see there's a... a yeah, a engi dent. engineers, they look at uh, uh, head force, trauma head force and, and crash conditions. You think of function and design. When does a function become aesthetic? I, I always say when it's when it's beautiful. I mean, if, if something is, is purpose-built, there's an aesthetic that happens automatically, but just by answering the question and, and what it's meant to do. You even look at something as, as functional as a piece of this metallic film that's here, and you've added a little bit of design to it. This process is actually pretty amazing. I mean, this is a sheet of aluminum, actual aluminum. This is not applied or printed on. There's, there's a series of masking, and then a wheel brushes it one direction. Then you remask it again, and something puts the diamond cut in. And you remask it again. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not a hand process, but it's a very laborious process to get this effect. And this is basically an abstraction of the Cadillac, uh, the shapes inside the Cadillac badge, almost in oh, motion. Oh right, right, yeah. I see this now. Okay, mm -hmm. Phil. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>